Alan, you said you were interested in seeing how... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm eating ice cream. Alan, you said you were interested in seeing how I built that bed. Uh, and I appreciate that because you motivated me to finish that bed. Um, this is how I do it. So I'm going to treat this bed soil like a new soil, like I'm mixing it for a pot. It's just a bed, it's just a larger container holding the plants. No reason I can't amend this like I would if I was potting up something. The soil that we brought in from the municipal, from the municipal, from the municipal, from the municipal utility stations. Um, we're gonna, it doesn't hold moisture very well. So we're gonna charge this cocoa core while we're finishing up gathering the dirt. And uh, it'll be ready by the time we get ready to amend the bed. Okay. So uh, I used what I could out of the, um, that it swept swamp water to get this much water in. And uh, I didn't wanna take all my swamp water. I wanted a mother to remain there for the new batch. And then uh, if we have to add any more water, We'll get that from the duck pond. Base layer dirt's finished up now, so I'm gonna grab my rake. I'm gonna rake this flat and see where we are on how much soil we brought to the bed. So just now this bed is in full sun beyond the reach of the trees. Let's see if I can show you that. So uh, from here on out today, this bed will be in full sun. So that's just a bit of duck muck from the uh, duck pond. So we're done providing the quick nutrients for the plants and now we're looking for something that's gonna be there a little longer term. Blood meal and bone meal are good bioavailable um, organic fertilizers that the biomass that we've just put in the system, the bacteria and mold, yeast, the, the life that was in the swamp water, now we're gonna give it some extended food and we're also gonna inoculate with some mycorrhizal inoculate and some humus from the woods. Mm, so there's the bed amendments for uh, this project. We've got uh, three pots of humus we got uh, two and a half pots of bone meal, two and a half pots of blood meal, and azomite. This is uh, something that was given to me at the farm store. This is cotton burr compost, and we're going to just put that bag in this area. And noticing the sun patterns while I'm working. See the shadow? This is a tree trunk. It's gonna leaf out and uh, it's gonna cast a shadow across this bed. So we got about an hour of full sun this morning before we were back in shadows because of trees. But it's also sheltered. This bed is sheltered on this side. And um, <clears throat> my thoughts are that this is gonna be where I 
transplant all my cold crops. I'm gonna grow my coal back here. It's gonna be shadowy, shady, it's wind protected. It's, um, I think, just a really good place to put my brassicas. So I've uh, started putting down cardboard and uh, bringing in the super soil again to the level that I want it to be uh, as a transplanting medium. The cardboard is nice and soft, so it's uh, it's laying in like shingling. It's really nice. Twelve forty, and you can see the shadow work beginning to take place with the oak or walnut here and um, nearly done toting soil got a few more loads bed is in the shade now some four hours after we uh, started the project and it was getting full sun and so it's going to get about four hours of full sun and then uh, it's going to get shaded, both shaded morning and shaded afternoon, which is more important for us here as temperatures go up. So that bed is uh, 21 feet by about three and a half. So it's uh, about seven meters by one meter, maybe a meter and a half. Went ahead and raked in uh, this bed and uh, these beds again. I just raked them over and getting them ready. Working back here now, and uh, I'll show you this in an upcoming episode of what's going on here. Ooh, it's been a fun day. Uh, so we built that bed, and uh, I hope that you watching me build that bed or you uh, um, understand the bed building process that we're using here. It helps you in some way develop your beds where you are. Look at your sun location, location, location. Is it something easy to access? Can you get water to it? What is the sun doing? All important aspects when you're designing bed locations. This bed late in the afternoon, and uh, you can see it's going to be shaded, 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 which is really good. That's what we're looking for here. Something to break the heat so that these uh, these brassicas can uh, survive these heat exchanges that we have in Arkansas. One of the things I'm going to do to uh, help that bed is give it a, a, a way to hold water. The super soil that we brought in from the 